Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cheyenne and in today's video we are continuing on with the Sinister Book Society that we do every month. We choose between two different books. You guys get to vote on it in the community tab and then once the voting is done we decide which book we'll be reading for the month and at the end of the month we will discuss in a final video. I took the last couple months off from doing Sinister Book Society just because I've been so busy working full time and then also being a mom and a wife and just life really hit me hard. But I'm ready to get back into content creating. So I'm excited to start off with another Sinister Book Society video. So let's get in on the books. I'm sure you hear either of my children in the background. They're kind of hanging out with me while their dad streams. So let's continue. Okay, so I decided to pull two books from my bookshelf that I have yet to read. I got these as a birthday present. So I'm gonna read the synopsis for you guys and then we will decide in the community tab which one we're gonna be reading. All right, so book one is gonna be A Place So Wicked by Patrick Ruman. Fate brings Toby and his friends to Black Falls, New York, where the skies are clear and the future is bright, except at their new home. There is something off about 23 Ripley Avenue. It is a large colonial home, the biggest in town, where the floorboards creak and even the darkness seems dark. Worst of all is the stench, which seems to emanate from the locked door in the basement, the one nobody can get open. It smells of death and decay, slowly spreading from the basement like a sickness. Toby must uncover the truth about his new home before the death takes over everything, including his family. All right, so the next book on our list is The City of Ember by Jean Deprau. Ember is the only light in a dark world, but now its lamps are beginning to flicker. The City of Ember was built as a last refuge for the human race. 200 years later, supplies are running low and terrifying blackouts are sweeping through the streets. It's only a matter of time before the lights go out and never come back on. When Lena finds part of a secret message, she's sure it holds a clue that will save Ember. She enlists her friend Dune and together they explore long forgotten parts of their dying city as they race to solve the mystery. If they succeed, they will have to convince everyone to follow them into danger. But if they fail, the lights will burn out and darkness will close them forever. All right, so I don't know about you guys, both of these sound super interesting. I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Obviously, I'm going to end up reading both, but which one do you guys want to read with me? Head over to the community tab, place your vote, and then I will have links in the description down below for both books. I hope you guys follow along and join this month's Sinister Book Society. And yeah, we'll explore these books together. I'll see you guys later.